Good morning, folks. Welcome to my channel, Ball Cap Casey. Those chickens are eating my fish. If you're a fisherman, you gotta get up early. Early bird catch the worm. No, that's not how it goes. <laughs> early, early bird catches the fish. Well, they don't. They get, early bird catches the worm. That's that's not a worm. And anyway, my neck's a little bit stiff. I got weird shaped pillows last night. Oh, slept okay. It was actually one of the first times I think in the Philippines I had to get a a little blanket on. Had a nice breeze coming in from the uh, the bay here. About two, three o'clock in the morning. I've only had just sheet, only I've only had to use like a little just a sheet. This one was actually a little, <laughs> like a little fleece blanket, a little bit thicker. <laughs> you know, got some fishermen going out there. These guys are looks like maybe uh, getting ready. There's one guy there. They've already coming back, coming back in. Morning. Yep. Yeah. This is the, uh, I don't know if I showed you guys last night. Can't remember. They have a huge uh, cement factory right here. And then there's a, well, it looks like they got a big old container ship coming in. It's like there's a tugboat pushing it all, pushing it on in here. And there's a steel factory. The steel corp is just on this side. I believe it's somewhere down here. I don't think that's it. What you see right there is a big steel. So two big production plants, cement and a steel plant down here in Kalaka or Balayan. Balayan is in like the next town over. where I had to go yesterday to see my friend at the hospital and then her <coughs> brother lives over here in the adjacent town here, Kalaka. Oh, that breeze, that feels so good. Had a hot dog for breakfast. You ever had a hot dog for breakfast? It was pretty damn good. I just need a coffee right now and I'll be good. Want to give you guys a little uh, video? Black sand here in just south southwest ish of Manila. I don't know what time it is. I think it's like seven in the morning right now. Six thirty ish is sunrise. But all the little bunk, all the little, these call them bunker boats. Hey, Kevin. There you go. Hiri James. Put your name on your boat. Or who, that might not be the owner's name. I, I, that might be their girlfriends or a name they like to call their boat. Last night, unfortunately, um, I picked up a bunch of uh, shards of glass, so I wouldn't 
walk down here barefoot. I did a little bit last night and then I, there's just a lot of trash, unfortunately. And there's gl glass pieces everywhere like this. You don't want to step on that, folks. You wouldn't have a, you wouldn't, uh, and I'll just pick it up and put it in the trash. But yeah, there's a bunch of those and this, you need a couple days here to clean all this trash up. Yeah, you would cut, you slice your foot open and then... Not fun. There's another another piece right here. Glass. You know, I know sometimes, of course, shells are pretty sharp. You step on a shell the wrong way, you can slice your foot open. But, you know, not people's trash. Let's pick that up. What are you eating there, buddy? Stuff that the ocean brings in, I guess. Just kind of picking through it. You can, you can kind of tell where high tide is. Kind of the line. Well, somewhat of a line of trash, maybe right there. Right here, you can kind of see where the sand kind of changes. So the water gets up to this level. I'm guessing right there, high tide. Yeah, they just brought this big boat in. I guess it's gonna maybe unload or load up some cement or unload supplies. Who knows? There we go. Come on here and sleep. A lot of people do that. They sleep to the waves, right? It's kind of refreshing. They, people buy tapes or tapes. Not anymore. What am I talking about? <laughs> Listen to uh, the sound of the waves as they go to sleep. Or meditate. Helps to calm a lot of people. All right, guys, I need to wake up. I need to go get, I need to get my coffee. Slept in more than I, longer than I wanted to. Go over here and see these little, uh, oh, there's some pigeons down here. A bunch of chickens over there eating a fish. Got some pigeons here. This guy, they're seeing this guy. I wonder if he caught anything or what the early morning. Maybe just getting out, going out there to get his morning exercise. Yeah, he's training her. Yeah, he got some fish. Little kid's got a fish. Good morning. Like an orange looking fish. Little boy. Helping Papa start him early. So when you're older, you'll be the, the pro. types and it's hard to see it all kinds of little <clears throat> islands out there number 7,000 islands here in the Philippines folks if you want to go island hopping it would take you <laughs> it would take you some time all right I'm gonna get my coffee just a quick little chat in the morning um,
staying here for another week or so here in the Philippines. Actually, I bought my my ticket. I had a friend that, that came through. It's one of those friends that didn't ask questions. I said I needed help with some money, and she said, how much? Wow, that that's... <laughs> somebody you'd, I don't forget and that's why I let I give her money and or any kind of help in the future and, and pay her back and uh, help each other out keep those friends around all right guys we'll see you later I think I said that for the tenth time <laughs> Keep moving forward, everybody.